Hey guys, Sky Strider the Avian Gamer here, back with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Generations. And today we will be continuing our ladder challenge for the week. Again, this is a new series um, within the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Generations game. Now, as far as how this will affect my other content, I'm not quite sure. Um, there will, like I said in the previous video, it does mean there will be double uploads on some days. Because I will have one video, uh, my normal videos coming out at 4, and then the weekly ladder videos coming out at 7 or 8-ish every uh, day. So let's proceed with Timothy Reed, our next opponent. And let's do it. As usual, I will be going first. And now one thing I should tell you about these weekly ladder challenges is the decks are always different. You don't really know what to expect. Huh. And I have some uh, interesting choices I could make. Now I could start off with a Obliviwasp, Wasp, which would be harder for him to use effect monsters on. Uh, as long as they, they're not an effect I immediately gets rid of it. I could do Thunderbird, which is what I'm thinking I'm going to do. Because then I can just get it back onto the field if something happens. Although I don't have anything to proc the Thunderbird off. So I kind of am hoping he's going to activate some kind of magic or trap card that will allow me to get the effect. Or just play defense. That's perfectly all right. Oh. I wonder, actually. Yeah, that does let me... I won't get back this turn, but I can at least power it up in the meantime. I mean, I'll be an X system and I'll turn. As worried as I am about that face down, I kind of do want to go after getting Capella. Not to mention having a way to proc my Thunderbird off. And let's go into battle. Okay, that's interesting. So is his deck going to be about discarding stuff in order to get effects, or... I'm curious. Here comes Thunderbird. Let's proc this off. Turn. I don't need a lantern right now, so I might as well turn it into something that's going to be a little more useful, like the capella that I'm going to be summoning hopefully this turn. Oh, wow. That is interesting. Huh. 
because I'm probably I'm gonna be able to do a good bit more on this turn then. All right. So I'll have Castor come out. And that's going to still allow me to use that in order to get my Capella out. Giving me now four monsters to fight. Okay. I have no idea what kind of deck this person's or this AI is running, but it's not seeming like it's going to do a lot. Because there goes most of his life points in one blow. Now, I'm sure you guys might wonder why am I not going to summon another Xyz. Well, because I have Infestation and Infection, I could just pull my Castor back into my hand or trade it out for something else. And if I got another Castor, then I could get the effect all over again. Okay. Limit Reverse. Alright, now he's going for a Tomb. God, this is really, this is going to be an insane tuning that this AI is about to do. Hmm. There's no too much reason for me to get it out of there except just in case something happens. Wait, are you kidding me? He might do another one? Oh my goodness. Why wouldn't he summon that in attack mode? Oh, okay, that's what he's gonna do. He's gonna probably destroy my Ophion. Or even my um, Capella. Nope, not my Capella. He's going to take out uh, Ophion, not Capella. Hmm. I think I'm going to have Zack. That way I can... That's fine because now Capella is going to take control. Which I'm thinking he must have assumed was going to happen. I think I got this one. I really just need to summon a couple things. I should be able to... Oh yeah, and I almost even forgot that I have Thunderbird coming back onto the field again. So yeah, I, I definitely win this duel. But I'm going to show you guys how much I can actually summon on one turn. Now, 
got some of that. Ophion. All right, I'm ready to go. This way now he won't, even if I were to somehow not win this duel, I've at least made sure now he doesn't get that monster back. By ending up destroying it on it against his own monsters. But that's dual. Alright guys. If you enjoyed my video, please hit that like button. If you enjoy the content that I've been putting out for you guys, please hit that subscribe button. If you do hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon next to it in order to get updates uh, pushed to you when I do have new videos come out. As always, this has been Sky Strider, the Avian Gamer. Have a wonderful day, guys.